Good afternoon. I'm Officer Myron Ham, Director of Corrections for the Las Vegas Police Protective Association. I'm Dan Coyne, Treasurer of the PPA. I want to talk to you today about a few briefing points that um, you know we've been going over for the year. Try to do our annual briefing and get out and speak to everyone. Doing it via video is the easiest way for us to get our information out there. I wanted to talk to you first today about truthfulness in elite. Elite is considered an official document by the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. So basically, if you lie in elite, if you say you did a walkthrough and you didn't get out of that chair and do that walkthrough, they're going to fire you. That is considered truthfulness. So make sure you're being truthful at all times. When you're talking to supervisors, if you're speaking to your supervisor and you think that discipline could arise from that conversation with that supervisor, you're allowed to stop, ask for a representative under the Weingarten decision, ask for a representative, and then stop talking. Do not talk. If you lie to a supervisor, they will jam you up for truthfulness. That's right, Myron. So if uh, that happens, just give any one of us a call at the PPA or any of uh, your reps down at the jail, and they'll contact us, and we'll come out. Um, also, criminal IAB is a hot topic. Uh, we have a lot of questions about talking to criminal IAB. Our advice is do not talk to criminal IAB until you've talked to one of us first. Uh, give us a call. Um, we'll give you all the advice you need to know. Um, just hold off talking to them until you get our advice. Um, that comes down to PEEP as well. Uh, just wrote an article about that. We have some questions coming up. If you need to talk to PEEP, great. Just give us a call. Um, tell us what it's about so we can tell you uh, correctly on what is going to be reported. Um, some things that they'll report is uh, illicit drug use and criminal behavior. So we don't want you guys... Um, believing that everything you tell them is confidential. Those things are not. Vacation sell back this year. Our vacation sell back has been increased from 40 to 50 hours, and that's going to be effective October 1st. So you have to have that form in by October 1st, and you're going to go from being able to sell back 40 to 50 hours this year in your vacation sell back. Um, yeah, that's right. That's something that we've just gotten uh, negotiations uh that's just getting signed off on the 10 hour increase. Also, uh, our uniform allowance is uh, being upped from $1,750 to $2,100. Uh, we just got that approved as well. So uh, you're gonna be seeing about $350 in back pay uh, coming up soon. Mandated OT, um, that's a hot topic around the jail, actually on the entire department. Um, We've sent out numerous emails about mandated OT. We have renegotiated the policy with the department. We are still in talks and everything that we're doing now is trial and error. We're trying to get this system right so it fits everybody's needs and what everybody wants and what they want to see happen. We're never going to be able to make everybody happy with the mandated OT system that we're under. Some people are going to feel like they're getting screwed around. Some people are going to feel like they're not getting enough overtime. Some people are going to feel like they're getting too much. What we're trying to do is we're trying to make it as fair as possible for everyone. So please, if you have questions about mandated OT, send us an email. When you send us an email, please send it to our PPA email address. Don't send it to the department email address. That is another point we want to point out to you. We give you emails and we give you, we give you our emails because we don't want the department looking at your emails because at the end of the day, they have the ability and they have the right to go and look at any transmission that you send over that email system. So send it to our PPA email address. And generally, it's whoever the rep is. Like my rep, my email address would be mham at lvppa.com. Dan would be dcoin at lvppa.com. And you can send us any questions or send us a text, whatever you need to do to give us the information out there safely and considerately. Yeah, so if you guys have any questions on what we went over in this video or any other questions in general, feel free to, feel free to reach out.